I hope Mia feels better soon. It is not fun being sick. Cubbies, have you ever been sick? Who takes care of you when you're sick? Maybe it's your mom or your dad, or maybe it's a sibling. Well, when Jesus lived on earth, he showed his love by helping many people and did many special things to help these people understand that he was God's son. And one day, while Jesus was teaching people about his father, God, a man came up to Jesus. This man's name was Jairus, and he had a big problem, and he needed Jesus to help him. Jairus knelt down at Jesus' feet, and he said, Jesus, he begged, will you please help my daughter? She is very sick, and she is about to die. Please come to my house and touch her so that she may live. Jesus loved Jairus, and he loved the little girl. Jesus was happy to help them. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, left with Jairus to go back to his home where the little girl was. A large crowd of people followed him. Jairus was not the only person who needed help from Jesus that day. In the crowd of people, there, were also, there was also a sick woman, and this woman felt very sad. She had been sick for 12 years, and she had no doctors that could help her feel better. But she had heard many wonderful things about Jesus, and she believed that all she had to do was touch Jesus' clothes and that she would be healed. So the woman moved closer to Jesus, but she didn't want anyone to see her because she was so sick, she wasn't supposed to be around anybody. So she bent down and she watched carefully. And when Jesus walked by, she snuck up behind him and she touched part of his clothes. And as soon as she touched Jesus, her body felt better. She was healed. Jesus turned around. Who touched me? He asked. Many people were pressing up close to Jesus, but Jesus knew he had healed something. The woman knew she couldn't hide anymore, so shaking with fear, she fell before Jesus and she told Jesus and everyone what she had done and how her body had been healed. Jesus loved her and he was so happy um, that the woman believed that he could heal her. So he said this, daughter, your faith has healed you. The lady was happy, but others in the crowd were sad. Do you remember Jairus? He wanted Jesus to hurry to help his sick daughter. So there's Jars. He looks a little sad. Several men from Jars' home came to him with bad news. Jars, your little girl has died. Do not bother Jesus anymore. Jars was so sad, but Jesus said to him, Do not be afraid, just believe in me. When Jesus got to Jairus' house, many people were sad and crying loudly. Other people were playing sad songs on the pipes. Jesus told them all to leave. Then only Jesus, the girl's father, Jairus, and the little girl's mother were there in the house with Jesus. Jesus' disciples, Peter, James, and John, were also there. On a bed was the 12-year-old girl who had died. Jesus knelt beside the little girl and he took her hand and he said, Little girl, arise. Cubbies, do you know what happened? The little girl opened her eyes and she was alive again. Jesus helped her out of bed and she started walking around. Jairus and the girl's mother were so happy and surprised. Only Jesus could make a dead person alive again because Jesus is God. Cubbies, it is sad to think about dying. But we do not have to be sad or afraid. Our memory verse, 1 John 5.11, says, God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. 1 John 5.11. This memory verse means that if we trust in Jesus as our Savior, we will have eternal life. And eternal life is life with Jesus. Now and forever. If our bodies die, we will go right to heaven and we will, will be alive forever with Jesus. 
And then one day when Jesus comes back, he'll give us new bodies. And these new bodies will never get sick and they will never die. Remember, Cubbies, Jesus gave us eternal life because he loves us. I am so glad that Jesus is our, is our powerful God.